Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about making coffee with the uh, Canway gas fire stove and this coffee pot. This is uh, from Ozark Trails. Uh, a lot of their stuff I don't consider to be that good. This is a good coffee pot. It's a percolator. Now, before you use this, there are a few things you need to do. One of them is clean it out good. Warm soap and water, rinse it out, that's all you need to do. The other modification you need to make, get rid of that. It's useless. Uh, what I'm going to be making today is cowboy coffee. So let me get the stove up and running and uh, we'll get started. Okay, got the stove going. It's gasifying good. Got the water in the coffee pot. Set this over there. Now, since this is not a boil test, I'm not going to bore you and make you watch this pot boil. So when this starts boiling, I'm going to put my coffee in it and uh, cook some cowboy coffee. Alright, we got a uh, nice rolling boil. Took about five to eight minutes, and I've got close to four cups of water in here, so it's quite a bit of water. When you make this coffee, even if you're making it for one, add a little bit of extra water uh, because of the grounds. Now I'm this is gonna be enough for more than one person. I've got a big cup, and I'm do I think two of those. Almost two of those. Now, this needs to boil for about three to four minutes. And yes, it does need to boil. I uh, was always told, don't boil your coffee, it'll burn it. They roast them at more temperature higher temperatures than what it does when it boils boiling only gets to about 210 212 and you need to boil this coffee to extract all the flavor from the beans and to get rid of the bitterness because when you make it like this you're not going to pick up the bitterness in a french press or a percolator or a pass-through filter and uh, that surprised me when i did this the first time there's a uh, guy out there, he's a cook for a uh, ranch, and he talked about making it this way, and I went, you got to be kidding me. It works, and I want to show you a trick that he has in his video about how to get the grounds from uh, getting in your coffee. Uh, excuse me. I've got to slightly... Move that off a little bit. You don't want it to boil over. It's not in any real danger to boil over. But after this uh, boils for another couple minutes, we'll uh, uh, get it out and try it. Alright, it's been boiling for about four minutes, actually longer than that. My fire kind of died down. These gasifier stoves, even the, especially the small ones, a hungry little beast. I'm used to the solo campfire and uh, they burn longer. You don't have to uh, worry about them as much. I'm going to move this off to the side. Get my coffee cup. Be loaded with the sweetener and creamer. Now, when I seen the video, the, my first video of this guy making cowboy coffee, he said to do this, and I kind of chuckled and said, yeah, right, like that's going to work. Well, it does. This is cool water, and I'm going to pour some of this in there. Now, he said, pour the cool water in there, and the grounds will settle down to the bottom. And it works. Surprised me, I didn't think it would. Alright.
I don't see any grounds. Now, if you pour it all the way down to the bottom, you will get grounds. I mean, you may pick up one or two, but for the most part, it looks clear. And if you're worried about grounds, what you can do is just, this is just a coffee filter. And... Yeah, there was no grounds in it anyway. I'm going to let this fire die, die down. But, there's my coffee. Now let's taste it. All right. Stir it up a little bit. Oh, that's a good cup of coffee. Basically, everything you hear about burning coffee, don't boil it. Um, treat it gently. For lack of a better word, it's just a bunch of crap. Um, my dad had an expression, excuse me, he was in the Navy, and he said, you can use any type of coffee you want, just boil the piss out of it. Well, he's right. That's exactly what you need to do. You need to boil this coffee for about three to four minutes. You don't need as much coffee as you are used to using because it extracts a lot more of the coffee out of the bean or out of the grind. Uh, you want to use a coarser grind, three to four minutes boiling it. Uh, if, you use, if you're making a lot of coffee, you want to do at least four minutes. And just boil it, do the uh, cold water trick, and um, it works. And it makes a good cup of coffee. Well, thanks for watching.